Karibu halisi builders, ubunifu, uaminifu na uhalisia. Hello guys, I hope you're good. So here is a quick thing kuhusu hii plot, very interesting fact. So sometimes mteja anaweza akalalamika, akasema nimekwambia unicholea ramani ya vimba vitatu au nimekupa ramani unifanyie makadirio, alafu wewe unaniambia kwamba msingi utakula tofali 2500 wakati kuna mwenzangu amejenga kwa tofali ya 1800 au tofali 2000. So they go like ah wewe engineer ni mwizi na ni, ni vijana sio aminifu and all that. So here's the thing. Umeona huu msingi? Slope yake sio kali kabisa. Yaani unaweza kukamiliki plot na usinotice kama ina slope na kama ume notice slope inawezekana pia usinotice hiyo slope ina ukali gani. Lakini at the end of the day kule juu unapokuona kule mwanzoni kwenye kibaraza ni tofali mbili tu ndo zinaonekana juu. And then kwenye ule ukuta huu ukuta ambao hapa na uonesha straight kule mwanzoni ni tofali nne ndo zinaonekana juu wakati huku niposimama mimi ni tofali tisa ndo zinakuja juu and that makes a straight line kwa hiyo hizi tofali tisa zimetokana na nini hiyo difference ya tofali tano ndio hicho ili kukava huu mlima huu msingi ilibidi kujengwa kwa step ili unyoke kuna kitu kinaitwa pipe level nilikielezea kule nyuma ili msingi umnyoke imebidi kule kibazani hiyo tofali mbili tofali nne zije hapa kwenye chumba cha mwisho na huku niposimama mimi zinakuja tofali tisa kwa hiyo ndio hii kile kisiku nasema kwamba slope nature ya kiwanja chako aina ya udongo uliopo na vitu vingine vidogo vidogo ambavyo mtu akifika ataviona vinaathiri sana wingi au upungufu wa material ambao nyumba itachukua so next i would like you to look at this picture and tell me what you see what do you think about the picture angalia huyu jirani hapa nyuma ambaye anajenga contemporary ukiacha huu msingi ambao sisi tunatakiwa kushughulikia within a few moments time What you notice is msingi wetu sisi umefika kwenye kozi ambayo ipo kwenye dirisha lake. Just let that sink in for a minute. Which means kama hili eneo kuna mkondo wa maji au kuna changamoto yoyote ambayo itafanya either wakati wa mvua au miundo mbinu baadaye baba sikija kuimarika watu wakishamia, maji ya flow wapi? Haya maji definitely yatatoka kwa mteja wetu na kwa watu wengine watakojenga viwanja vya mbele. Sehemu ya watu ambao wataathirika na haya maji itakuwa ni pamoja na yeye kwa nini kwa sababu aliyemjengea aitakiwa amshauri kwamba labda kama huu msingi unachukua tofali 1500 aitakiwa amwambie kwamba nuno hata tofali 2200 hizo tofali 700 zinatumika kufanya nini zinasaidia kuongeza kiti yani kama msingi utakao kuchimba futi mbili kwa sababu umeshaona eneo liko slope na you are sure kiwanja cha mbele sio cha owner aliyekuwa haya wewe which means yote atakayejenga hapo mbele atajenga kwa considerations zake yeye mwenyewe then hii nyumba ya nyuma itakiwa izingatie hiyo move aongezewe idadi ya matofali kwa badala ya kujenga labda msingi ambao utachimbwa chini futi mbili wangemchimbia futi nne, nne na nusu hadi tano kwa hiyo hiyo ingemsaidia by the time anakuja kurudishia udongo anakuja kuweka na udongo mwingine juu labda wa gardening au wa pavement au pia landscape inabadilika kutokana na serikali ya kupitisha magreda kwenye barabara au majirani wa viwanja vya pembeni na mbele yake na watu ambao na viwanja kwa juu wamejenga mambo yote hayo ni to factor in bado nyumba yake ngazi zake sebule yake veranda yake inatakiwa iwe na reasonable height ili isiathiriwe na vitu vidogo kama hivi mvua au vumbi let me let me give you an example you ever been to these houses ambazo mvua ikinyesha yale maji ya kidunda tu hivi kwenye ardhi kawaida yale matone ya maji ya ule uchafu ule wa mchanga ulolowana unarukia rukia kwenye veranda au narukia rukia kwenye kibaraza hata kama umeacha ndala zako vya tunakuta vime roa na mchanga mchanga fulani au vumbi linakuwa halikauki sebleni you ever been to such houses that is one of the best examples i can give you kama ukijenga foundation fupi kwa hiyo the other thing ni kwamba by the time boss wetu sisi anakuja kujenga fence hapa tutamshauri atoboe na zile bomba za inchi nne kwa ajili ya kuacha vents kama vile fence ipumue ardhi pumue na pia ardhi ina tabia kupush kwa hiyo inapopush msingi wa fence bado unabaki imara kwa sababu kuna nafasi ya kuabsorb hiyo tension force lakini hayo matobo jirani akiaona ataamini kama vile huku bosi wetu sisi katoboa hayo matobo ili apeleke maji kwake kwa hiyo yeye akiweka pavement huku kwetu maji ya mvua yakija kwenye pavement yaka flow towards him au ha anayemiliki nyumba ya nyuma anaweza akadhani otherwise lakini it's not true It's just the landscape ilivoka kila mtu akiweka fence akiweka gate where do you want the water to go na hata kama tusipotoboa fence yetu sisi bado drainage system is a natural process and water will always go from a higher place to a lower ground kwa hiyo 
these are the things to consider. I thought this is a great way to express hii idea, hii topic hii watu waweze kuelewa. Finally guys, usisite ku press the like button. Just like the video if you like the video. Show some love. Uh, pressing the like button isn't a childish thing to do. It's actually very helpful. You know the YouTube algorithm does not is not a person, it's a robot, it's an AI. It does not know if this content is helpful or useful or if it's abusive. So by liking and interacting with our content, ndo mnasaidia algorithm kujua kwamba if this many people watch these videos, if this many people subscribe and if this many people comment and like and share, then this has to be good for humanity. So it's good for construction and you'll actually be amazed. Mkitusaidia the algorithm kutuonesha kwa more people, you would be amazed how much how many people watabarikiwa na kupata such educational tweet simplified educational content at the right time kumokolea mtu gharama ya ujenzi kumuondolea stress kuwa na amani kwa mbali za kajenga akiwa mbali kuwa na amani na budget any these tiny tiny details ambazo tunajibu kuzitoa kwenye hii channel it's very helpful to people it is very very helpful to people so I'd just like to urge you muendelee ku like i'm thankful to god and i thank you guys i got 63 new subscribers over the past week and some of them interacted with the content some of them at many fat time books and all tunashukuru mungu so this is just a simple message from a simple guy kindly like our content if you like our content and if you have something to say please leave it in the comment otherwise stay blessed stay educated mungu ni mwema this is halisi builders ubunifu uaminifu na uhalisia have a good time